It is yet another achievement for ASRO and they have successfully launched for the 15th time GSLV F12, the model scale that we have next to me. This is 1 is to 20 model scale of the GSLV. This time, this rocket, which is 420 tons, carried a payload of 2,232 kilograms, a satellite called as NAVIC, the second generation satellite for India's own navigation system, a satellite that would give utmost precision in uh, uh, positioning, timing and navigation and how it achieves it because it has a specific uh, uh, object called as a rubidium atomic clock. Extremely precise timing will be provided for navigation, positioning and also uh, for this particular rocket which is 420 tons in height has showed up and the mission is a success. Chairman of ISRO, Somnath, did speak to us and he also, just as we were eagerly waiting, gave us uh, information about the Chandrayaan-3 launch and Gaganyaan launch. It is for position, navigation and timing service. So three important things. One is like GPS, it gives you the signal to your device so that you can you can pick those signals and then find out your position accurately. That's called positioning services. Then navigation services, when you move, then you can find out your path, your velocities, etc. And timing services, you give the clock timing so precisely. So we are the timekeepers of the nation with the Navic there. So we give for railway timing and other business timing and all such uh, critical information are done. So uh, with the Navic now, what will happen is, we have been working to you make it available to the strategic sectors, our defense forces, as well as the civilian, like GPS. GPS is also meant for the, their national strategic, as well as civilian for the world. So we want to see the civilian use increases now. Because we want to see that it becomes uh, the, the, the primary choice of people in India to go to Navic than GPS. GPS let it be there and all other navigation be there. But if you are better, then definitely people should be interested to use. Because it gives you an accuracy almost 3 meters against the declared accuracy of 20 meters for GPS. When will we achieve it, sir? We will achieve when we have a 7 satellite constellation. Right now we have only 4. Sir, we know that like GPS, we have GSLV, PSLV, uh, Mark II and everything. Yeah. But people are interested to know about Chandrayaan and Gagan Nagyan. Let, so let them. We would like to get some more information on that. Yes, we are. We know that you are tight-lipped, especially about Gaganyaan, the crew no, module. So much I talked about Gaganyaan. Let us know about the crew module recovery and everything. Everything. We are, we are very happy to speak to you. Otherwise, what for? Our job is to make you aware of it. And we can tell what is needed to be known. Because if you tell, tell uh, too much about it, then you will ask me a more uh, difficult we question. We are much more interested, sir. No other reason particular. <laughs> okay, fine. So, uh, first to talk about Chandrayaan-3. Chandrayaan-3 is already getting ready for launch this coming July. Our target is to launch in July itself. And because uh, there is a given slot which will make it possible, so we are working towards that. Uh, everything is getting ready. I don't find any problem for it. This time we are going to surely land because we have done all what corrections that we can think of and do of has been done. And all simulations to make sure that things that can go wrong are addressed so with that confidence, we will go. And if you have any doubt, we will not launch. That much I can tell. Sir, sir, about Gaganyan, sir? Gaganyan, I already told Gaganyan, we are getting ready for a test vehicle mission. And after that, we are going for unmanned mission. Further announcement will happen a little later. Right. Divian, Pramod Madhav, for India Today.